everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see how to create a sales opportunity in business central uh, so i'll be discussing about um, what are the use case real use case of uh, creating a sales opportunity and why should we create a sales opportunity with a practical example stay tuned with me till the end so before we proceed i'd like to tell you that this is my channel if you haven't subscribed yet please go and subscribe now okay so here you can find various useful playlist for you being a business central a uh, functional or technical consultant or a developer so here this is for functional and this is for technical developers of course a functional consultant can also learn al programming and you can see the interview questions and everything once if you scroll down you can see a lot more um uh, playlist for the business central and also you can see find various uh, uh, a useful playlist for you and this is uh, uh, my top med account if you want to schedule any <laughs> uh any calls with me like if you want to discuss something with me you can schedule a call here so i'll be happy to assist you and the link is in the description please go and check that and if you wanted to find any ebooks for the business central tableau or uh, power bi you can find it here so this is a ebook store this is for interview questions if you want to see any other uh, uh, if you have any suggestions for the ebook manual you can leave that in the comment i will be happy to assist that as well and this is my blog you can find this link uh, in the description so i'll be adding the tasks here for uh, developers and if you want to see for the functional consultant as well in the sense please leave your comment and uh, Uh, i'll be uh, i'm planning to add more quizzes and everything here so please uh, let me know your suggestion in the comment section so let us go back to the concept so what is sales opportunity in microsoft dynamics 365 business central a sales opportunity refers to a sales lead or prospect that can be tracked through various stages of the sales process so a real time case uh, and purpose of sales opportunities are like tracking sales lead so sales opportunities are used to track the interaction so you if you wanted to track the sales lead okay so this will be useful for you business can manage each stages of the sales process from initial contact to closing the sales and you can assign the sales responsibility this is important because opportunities must be assigned to a specific sales person or a team ensuring accountability and follow up this helps in organizing and dis uh, distributing uh, sales tasks among team members next one is this leads to the system uh, systematic process okay so opportunities are typical created from contacts or during interactions with the sales people so this systematic approach allows business uh, to uh, nurture leads systematically and efficiently and finally customizing sales uh, cycle okay so before creating opportunities sales cycles and stages need to be set up according to the business process sales processes so this customization helps in tracking the progress of each opportunity according to predefined stages which could include qualification negotiation and closing so let us first see how to create a sales uh, opportunity in business central and then i will tell you the practical example for creating this first thing what you have to do is what you have to go to the search okay so this is the search icon you can just click here for the search and you have to search for what you have to search for the sales uh, people okay so type sales people so you can see this one sales people okay so what happens so here it will show you the people which you have added okay sales people which we have already added so you can create an opportunity from the contact as well i will show that in the next uh, video probably so you can see here the sales people so if you want to create a new entry here you can click and create a new sales people so this is sales and purchasers um so sales person you can click and see here like the sales persons as well so you have here our aim is to create a sales opportunity right so these are the sales people you can click on any one okay for example i am just clicking on eh esther henderson so once if you click on any sales people you can see that uh, there is an option called related okay so in few you can find there is an there will be an action you can go and select the opportunities or else you can find this related go to the sales person so you can find opportunities 
so you have other tasks as well if you want to assign a task or something you can do that so we are going to create an opportunity for uh, this particular sales salesperson so click opportunities so once if you click opportunities you can see uh, that is the opportunities we haven't created yet so far so you can go and select the opportunities here by selecting new so click new so once if you click you can select uh, you have to give the description okay like um what is the description okay sales lead or something so you can just give this description you can just type start typing sales lead uh, if you wanted to give any um a contact number okay which contact or which corporation or the organization you just wanted to go ahead and search for that so if you want to go with the fabricum inc just click on this and then who is the sales person so i have selected esther henderson so you can just select the sales person code and sales person cycle whether it is a new sales opportunity or creating or the existing customer new customer or for the existing customer so if you want to go with the existing customer then you can click here existing customer so status um, next thing let's like these are the basic thing which you have to create it and once it is created you can see that it is saved it is showing it is saved so once it is saved you can just go go back to the opportunity to see so here you can see whether the opportunities are saved or not so here the opportunity is created okay so the, what is the current cycle so you can just go ahead and see so the, all these things we haven't created so this is the opportunity which we have created so here you have a, a, a option called closed okay you can just track this opportunity got it so this is how you can create a sales opportunity in business central so uh, this is we have there is a two options to create sales opportunities one is creating through the uh, sales person or you can also create from the contact contact okay that i we will see in the uh, probably in the next video <laughs> so there is a few cycles okay so we have uh, uh, specific cycles for the sales opportunities uh, like uh, we have um, specific uh, tasks to be assigned okay so how to assign the task and everything we will look into it okay so uh, the thing is like very uh, very specific things you must uh, do is what the cycles and the sales cycle stages that is very important so the sales cycle is made up of a series of stages that go from the initial contact to the closing of a sales for each stage you define any requirement that must be met such as requiring a sales code um uh, requiring the sales code before an opportunity can go to the next stage so you can also specify whether a stage can be skipped you can set up as many as cycle sales cycles as you need you can set up as many sales cycle stages as necessary within the sales cycle so to use these opportunities for the sales cycle you must set up the sales cycle uh, define the different stages of the cycle and then assign the cycle to opportunities okay so you can assign the tasks so we will see like how to set up a different uh, uh, sales cycle activities tasks and everything probably in the next video so i am just going to end here with a practical example like imagine a company that sells office furniture and uses business central to manage its sales process when a potential customer shows interest in purchasing office chairs for their new headquarters a sales opportunity can be created and assigned to a sales person so as a business owner or uh, not a single person will be handling all these things okay there will be sales persons so what he will do the sales person will track all the interactions follow up on the lead and move the opportunity through various stages like initial contact proposal submission so there will be some thing okay so, uh, so so as a sales person he will be taking care of the initial contact so he will be contacting the person and uh, he will be following up the lead so what are the things which uh, uh, like uh, proper scheduled follow ups and uh, he should uh, he or she should move the opportunities to the various stages like um, proposal submission okay a uh, proposal submission he can do or as you can also go with the final negotiation okay final negotiation should happen so this organized approach ensures no potential sales are lost and helps in maximizing conversion rates so the sales opportunities in business central streamline the sales process providing businesses with the tools to manage sales leads effectively allocate resources efficiently and ultimately it drives the sales uh, sales growth 
so yes we are um, in the end of this so as i i showed you like how to create a sales opportunity so in the next video like upcoming series of videos we will look like how to um do, uh, how to set up an activity task okay like um creating a task for the sales person and everything stay tuned take care